Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. Hey guys, hope you're all well and welcome to this showcase video. Today we've got some awesome Adeptus Titanicus for you to check out. Uh, a great selection of models from the range. We have uh, two Reavers, two Warhounds, and then we've got some Serastus Knight Lancers. Uh, this whole project's been painted by Morgan, one of the artists here at Siege, who's had a phenomenal time working on this really, really cool color combo project. We have some uh, some Heresy uh, models, obviously. These are the set at the time of the Heresy for our client. Uh, obviously got some Loyalist, titans here and then we have some traitor titans on the left uh, so a nice selection a great little group of titans to have a battle with as well so let's jump in and have a look we'll start with the bad uh, to start off with as in the uh, heresy or heretical ones let's just get this to focus for you guys there you go um really really cool model the knight lancer just a really really imposing miniature with that massive massive spear lance and obviously the shield uh, morgan's done a great job of painting it in this uh, really really rich crimson red colorway with the silver accents which are just really really like uh, got this Marsis kind of basing done on the uh, on the miniatures also as well, which is just great. Um so again, really, really well executed. Nice half and half colorway there just on that sort of tilt shield on him, uh, which is great. And again, you can see every little detail fully painted on this uh, on this chap. So that's just the Knight Lancer. Uh, we'll jump across and have a look at the Loyalist counterparts. Uh, so again, in this really, really royal regal blue, which is just a lovely, lovely colorway. Uh, you can see all the little details, even the little windscreen on the top is also done. Uh, but again, just really, really cleanly, cleanly executed and painted to a super, super clean finish, uh, which is just really well done. So that's the other one. Then we've got uh, probably my favorite Titan, which is the Warhound. I absolutely do love the Warhound uh, and just really the background to this, uh, this Titan, just a really, really awesome uh, sort of imposing sort of miniature. Uh, again, you've got this red and blue colorway here, just obviously this uh, this traitor Titan, with that really cool green plasma glow on that uh, plasma blaster. And obviously you've got the Inferno cannon there as well, just all the little buttons and screens and dials and everything all painted out on the side there. Also, uh, if you move around the back, you see all the metallics have got a really nice sort of build up of detritus and sort of weathering on them as well, uh, which is really cool. And then we've got obviously some sort of uh, some patterning just here on the legs and just diamond patterning on there, which is just great. Uh, so that's the uh, that's the, uh, the, the, the the first Warhound. We'll jump across and have a look at the second. So again, in the uh, Loyalist color scheme or the blue here as per our client request, uh, again, just really nicely executed and just a really, really super clean finish on the miniature. Uh, again, that white head there with a little bit of buildup of uh, detritus and stuff just running down that carapace. Obviously got the uh, lovely sort of uh, sectioned panel here. That's all freehand here, those little checks just on there. Uh, and then we move around the back. You can see again, all the little bits of detail on the sort of exoskeleton all painted as well. Uh, do love the little red sort of, uh, got the glint windows as well which is quite cool on the front uh, so that's just the uh, these are all fully magnetized as well guys just in case you're wondering I was going to show you the heavyweight the extra weapons in a second and then we have the Reavers so just again two awesome models uh, obviously the traitor one to start off with uh, really like the red and black color combo of this uh, this sort of maniple scheme and you've obviously got the uh, it's quartered sort of kneecap here that's been free handed on also I love the integration to the base as well with this build up of this with a sort of Mar this uh, Mars this basing on the feet as well, just works really really nicely. Again, you can see all the metal works done to a super clean finish. Nice amount of sort of grease kind of effect just done some of these uh, pistons and things, which just works really really well. Uh, so that's the first of the two Reavers. Uh, that's the, the Traitor Reaven, and then let's have a look at the Loyalist Reaver again in this really vibrant, super royal rich blue, which I do really really like. Again, you got the Inferno gun here or the melter cannon should i say um and you've got the laser destructor i believe this is correct me in the comments if i'm incorrect with any names or weapons uh, titanicus is not my uh, my forte when it comes to the weapon names but feel free to uh just let me know those uh, again you can see the more of the free-handed uh, checks that have been just been done on this uh, on this titan as well and again really really well executed we've got obviously some names and on the scrolls just written there uh, which is really cool it's tempestus on there which is just awesome 
And then we move around the back, you can see again the same consistency and attention to detail on all the pistons uh, and nice build up of sort of uh, the basing uh, sort of dust on the feet also. So again, a really, really well executed. And as I mentioned, there's a whole host of magnetized parts. Uh, so we have obviously different weapons, like for example, uh, this chain fist, which is really cool. So we've just got this chain fist uh, to go on one of the Titans. Uh, and then all the Warhounds have got a full complement of weapons. We've obviously got plasma glow on this plasma blast gun. Uh, and then obviously the uh, Vulcan Mega Bolter. Again, a really, really phenomenal, phenomenal bit of kit for your Titans to mow down enemy infantry. If I could just get that to focus for you guys, there you go. Uh, again, just really, really well and cleanly painted like the rest of this awesome commission. These two maniples are now going to have a bit of a scrap. I do hope that you like them ever so much and I'll see you very soon on my next one. Take care. So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.